Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get started on grapeness. We're going to use these volumes that became grapes as we started from the back and work forward. We're going to keep that design, but we're going to start with just the dark. So I'm going to take some burnt sienna, some of the dark red, and a little bit of this dark green. And I'm going to get a dark dark. And I need to remember that my light source is coming from the upper right this way so thinking in terms of if the light source is coming from the upper right the lower left on these grapes is going to be in shadow so thinking about light and shadow on a a rounded form there's going to be shadow on the lower left portion of these grapes and I'm using that number two Robert S Simmons series 42 filberts and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to rough in the shadow first of all I'm going to rough in the shadow where the shadow would be with a light source coming from the upper right now where would I see some of these shadows back here now right up on these grapes right in front I'm going to see that shadow in here now this I'm just going this is where we're going to start if I had a, a series of golf balls instead of grapes and these golf balls were stacked on top of one another, there'd be a, a consistency in where I would be able to expect to see shadows. So on these grapes, lower right hand or lower left hand corner, I'm going to put some of the shadows. Now, as we work back from there, as we work back from there, on some of these grapes now I, as I see grapes in this pile I'm going to just look for that portion of the grapes where I would expect expect to see a shadow in the amount of grape that I'm actually seeing so if I and what I'm going to do just for the purposes of demonstration I'm just going to put the darks in and then I'm going to put some lights in and you're going to be quite surprised that with just adding the darks and the lights you're going to be quite surprised with how the three-dimensional nature of these grapes start to stand out as soon as you step back a short distance as soon as you step back a short distance you're going to see some of these grapes as three-dimensional forms now some of these forms we're going to have to tweak a little bit more than others and we're probably going to have to put in some dark spaces in areas where we would expect to see uh, some like dark shadows like for instance right in here there'd probably be a dark shadow right in this area around that grape there'd probably be some dark shadow in here probably some dark shadow in here we're going to just pop some of these darks where we might see them just to help with this okay now I've very very quickly put some shadows on some of these grapes now I'm going to just round a few of these out a little bit more right in the right in the foreground here just round them out just a little bit more so that you can clearly see the three-dimensional pattern of light and shadow and now I'm going to go back with a light okay now these grapes are kind of a these were in, in the photograph these were artificial grapes and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get a variety of color and I'm going to take some raw sienna with some of this pool color I had with some of the reds. I'm going to go in and add a little bit more color to a few of these grapes. And then I'm going to pop the lights in. Get a little more orange maybe in a couple of them. Maybe a little bit of green. We don't want them all to be the same color. Might even have a, 
a bad one. You know, a, kind of a brown grape. Here's, this might be a good place to have a brown grape. All right. Now I'm going to try to raise the value by going lighter. I want to keep the grapes kind of earthy. So I'm going to use some raw sienna. Little touch of the orange and red. I want to get a color that's going to look like a grape color. That doesn't really look like a good grape color. So I'm going to get some more red in it. Maybe a little bit more burnt sienna. I'm going to putz around here until I can get a, something that's a little bit more grapey. How do you like that word? I could. I'll take a little bit of red, put a little bit of blue in there, get it a little bit more purpley. I'm still trying to find just a great color. I'm going to go a little bit more red. I kind of like this color a little bit. Oops. Got too dark on that one. Now are you starting to see grapes? Mm -hmm. Take a little bit. More orange here. I don't like that color right there so much, so I'm going to change that up a bit. Now, as I'm putting these grape colors in, I'm still using the original drawing, as it were, when I went in with that brush and made those circular motions to develop greatness. And the old Dutch master used to do a flock of sheep going down a road in a similar manner. Let's see. So you'll see that I'm doing somewhat of a dry brush technique with the um, using that that preliminary drawing, and I'm just I'm not trying to wipe out the grapes that I have did in that preliminary drawing. I'm using them to help me with my pattern of light and shadow. Okay, now after having put these in like this, I didn't particularly care for that color right there. Now I'm going to reintroduce these darks again. I'm going to take some dark red. All right, so now this is just a little bit of an addition just to help you see what some of that yeast looks like on some of these grapes. So now I'm going to, there's a lot of work to do here yet, but I just wanted to show you this so that you would be, you'd, you'd have a little bit of an understanding or you'd ha I'd be giving you the rationale as far as why we're putting in some of these deeper colors. Now I'm going to go to the highlight on the grape. I'm going to go to a very kind of a, a light highlight color. I'm going to try to get 
in the ballpark here. Use some of my pool green in here. I need a light. I want to get a nice light color. I'm going to lighten this up a little bit more. Maybe get a little more red in it. Yellow. And I'm going to try to get a light that is going to stand out. And I think this is going to work. So I'm going to put this just in a few of these grapes so that you can see the effect. So now the light source is coming from the upper right. So I'm putting this on the upper right hand portion of the grapes. You want to make sure that you soften the edge. Each time that you go to the palette, change your color just a little bit. Now I'm not going to go all over the place, you know, with this because I, I want you to have time to work on this. Now I'm going to do do my brightest highlight with this, which is white and a little touch of blue in it. Now watch what happens here with these grapes when I put these highlights in here. And that the presence of these highlights all of a sudden makes the grapes we're isolating the light source so that we're starting to see the three-dimensional quality of the grapes. Are you with me? Okay, so with having done that, that's the beginning of the grapes. So do thou likewise, and while you're doing that, I'm going to be doing some more work on the three-dimensional quality of these round grapes and this overall clusters of grapes. There's a lot of kind of drawing-related stuff as far as a cluster of these spheres called grapes. The pattern of, of cast shadows where one grape and the light source projects a shadow across another surface of a grape or the surface of another grape. These things, this is kind of labor intensive, but if we take our time and work on our drawing, we'll end up with three-dimensional grapes in a three-dimensional cluster of grapes. Question. Okay. Do thou likewise.